Welcome to Science Easy Tech Channel. In this video, we are going to see answer key for nursing research two marks. So, this two marks uh, questions have been taken from Dr. NTR University of Health Sciences. At present, it is YSR University of Health Sciences. Uh, previous year question papers. Uh, important 20 questions I am going to discuss in this video. So, just I am going to read it. I am not going to explain it because it is only answer key. The explanation part, if you want, means each and every topic we have posted in our channel playlist. BSc Nursing Research and Statistics. You can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistics related videos. This video will be useful for BSc Nursing students and post basic BSc Nursing students. Before moving on to the topic, if you are new to Science Easy Tech channel, just take a moment to subscribe our channel and also to press the notification bell icon in order to get connected with our latest updates. Let's move on to the topic. First question is define reliability. Reliability is defined as the degree to which research methods can reproduce the same results multiple times. Reliability is the degree to which research method produces stable and consistent results. A specific measure is considered to be reliable if its application on the same object of measurement number of times produces the same results. Second question define variable variable is defined as an attribute of an object of study in short anything which varies is called a variable variables are any characteristics that can take on different values namely age test marks temperature pressure weight etc dependent and independent variables are measured during experimental studies to assess the cause and effect relationship a variable is something that can be measured in a study or experiment define assumptions assumptions are statements that are taken for granted or are considered true even though they have not been scientifically tested assumptions or statements that are taken for granted or are considered true even though they have not been significantly tested one more definition for assumptions assumptions or principles those are accepted as being true based on logic or reasons but without proof or verification fourth question define data compilation data compilation is the collection of raw data and their transformation into a format that can be easily manipulated or combined with other data in preparation for further analysis. Data compilation is defined as a set of statistical procedures performed on collected data to derive new information according to a given set of rules resulting in intermediate data and final statistical outputs. Fifth question, define limitations. The limitation of a study can be defined as its flaws or shortcomings which could be the result of unavailability of resources, small sample size, flawed methodology, etc. Limitations are usually added in the discussion session just before conclusion. So they are added in the discussion section just before the conclusion part. Sixth question, define extraneous variable. An extraneous variable is defined as any variable that you are, you are not investigating that can potentially affect the dependent variable of your research study. An extraneous variable is defined as any variable that you are not investigating but that can be potentially affecting the dependent variable of your research study. List the types of hypothesis. Simple hypothesis, complex hypothesis, directional hypothesis, non-directional hypothesis, associative and casual hypothesis, null hypothesis, research or alternative hypothesis. Next is Define hypothesis. A hypothesis is an assumption that is made based on some evidence. 
This is the initial point of any investigation that translates the research question into predictions. It includes components like variable, population and the relationship between the variables. A research hypothesis is a hypothesis that is used to test the relationship between two or more variables. Ninth question, enumerate the types of sampling. You have probability sampling and non-probability sampling. Under probability sampling, you have simple random sampling, systematic sampling, stratified sampling, multi-stage sampling, cluster sampling, etc. In probability sampling. Then in non-probability sampling, you have convenient sampling, voluntary response sampling, purposive sampling and snowball sampling. Next, four types of experimental research. So under experimental research, you have pre-experimental, statistical, quasi-experimental and through experimental. Under pre-experimental, one shot case study, one group pre-test, post-test design, static group. Through experimental design, post-test only control design, pre-test, post-test design, Solomon four group design, randomized block design, factorial design, crossover design. Under statistical, it is uh, it also comes under time quasi-experimental, time series, multiple time series. In quasi-experimental, non-randomized control group design and time series design. So any four types of experimental research design, you can explain. I have given all the things, okay? Next is maturation. Maturation in research comes under threats to internal validity. So maturation is a type of threat to internal validity. Maturation is the processes within subjects which act as a function of the passage of time. That is for example if the project is going to take a long time uh, or if the project lasts for a few years most participants may improve their performance regardless of any treatment. So that is called as maturation which occurs over a period of time because of our growth and development or because of our maturation level. Next is effect size. So effect size is a way of reporting the strength of a relationship between two or more variables in a population. In terms of quantitative comparisons, it is simply the extent to which two groups differ from each other concerning the grouping variable. In short, the effect size is the magnitude of the difference between the groups. The absolute effect size is the difference between the average or mean outcomes in two different intervention groups. Next is differentiate between reliability and validity. Validity is the extent to which a test measures and what it claims to measure. Reliability, consistency of the test results. Second uh, point in uh, validity, it measures whether the extent to which the test claims to measure is achieved. So it measures whether the test gives consistent results at its outcome. So types of validity testing. Construct validity, content validity, phase validity, criterion validity, concurrent validity, uh, etc. Types of reliability. You have test retest method reliability, interrater reliability, parallel forms reliability and internal consistency reliability. Fourteenth question. Define null hypothesis is defined as that hypothesis that proposes that no statistical significance exists in a set of given observations and these. used to observe the credibility of your hypothesis by using sample data. It is denoted by H0. Null hypothesis states that there is no true difference between the sample of data and the population parameter and the difference is accidental which is caused due to the fluctuations in sample. Next question, 15th question, mention the purposes of qualitative research to explain what, how and why phenomena to explore the behavior, perspectives, feeling and experiences of the people to gain an understanding of underlying reasons, opinions and motivation 
to assess deeper into the problem complexity and processes of the problem explores little known phenomena next is disadvantages of random sampling if the sampling frame is large random sampling may be impractical a, a complete list of the population may not be available always minority subgroups within the population may not be present in the sample high experience and skill of the researcher is needed for the research in selecting the random sampling it is complex and time consuming method of research large sample size is mandatory advantages of non experimental research it is very flexible during the research process the cause of the phenomena is known and the effect it has is to be investigated the researcher can define the characteristics of the study group non experimental research tend to be closest to the real life situation good for problems not able to study by experimental research define validity is your 18th question validity refers to how accurately a method measures what it is intended to measure validity has been defined as the extent to which a test measure what it is supposed to measure enumerate the types of non experimental research descriptive design under descriptive design you have univariate descriptive design exploratory descriptive design comparative descriptive design next is correlational design under that you have prospective design retrospective design developmental research design cross sectional design long Longitudinal design, epidemiological design, case control studies, cohort studies, survey research design. So these are all the types of non-experimental research. At least you can write this main types: descriptive design, correlational design, developmental research design, epidemiological design, survey research design. If you are writing the subtypes also, it's well and good. So last question is your twentieth question. Types of research instruments: interview, test, surveys, checklist, scales, questionnaire, observation, rating scale, focus group, discussion, etc. So interview, test, survey, checklist, scales, questionnaire, observation, rating scale, focus group, discussion. There are some other types also. So hope this video has uh, given uh, a detailed uh, discussion about uh, two marks questions. So if you like my video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel as i have told earlier this is only a discussion video and not an explanation video that's why i have read it because some comments i am getting madam you are only reading so whatever has to be explained though everything already i have posted video so if you want explanation part go back and watch our channel playlist if you like my video please give it a thumbs up share and subscribe to science easy tech channel my previous videos link i have given in description box suggested in the card and i card or you can watch our channel playlist for more nursing research and statistics related videos thank you friends keep supporting to science easy tech channel